Murray, how are you, Murray? I'm very good. It's pouring with rain and freezing cold here in uh, in a Berkshire in London. I hear you wanted to oh, hear a little bit the, about Murray. that. this is Murray. Murray, how are you? How lovely <laughs> of you to ring. <laughs> Well, look, well Murray, I just had a call from my just had a call from my brother Colin yeah. down in the Bay of Plenty there. Now, Murray, uh, just saying that <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. Well, I interviewed Bob Jones on the platform this morning, and after oh, fantastic, and, and we talked about the election <laughs> and stuff. And then I suddenly realised that people of a certain age have no idea of who Bob Jones is <laughs> and all the crazy stuff he's been involved in. So I told the story about about up the river after the election and Rod Vaughan's yeah. broken nose and your brother texted and rang in and we had a conversation about that. So you were yeah, the cameraman that right. day because there, there's some confusion. Peter Mayo, who's a guy I know from TV Three Days, he was also a That's soldier. That's right. But was, he was there in Wishart. Uh, no, Peter Mayo was with Rod Vaughan. And that happened just after lunch. I was working with the Auckland Star at the Ah. time with a reporter called Colin James. Oh, Colin. We Colin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Colin James. So uh, when, of course, the election went south for Bob and it looked like it it was all over, uh, the editor of the Auckland Star at the time, Jim Tucker, said, right, you two, Murray and uh, uh, Colin James, you better head down to Turingi and see if you can get an interview with Bob Jones to see um, what, yeah. well, actually, what went wrong. And, and what we hadn't figured out, he out. didn't care that they hadn't got into Parliament. In fact, he told us that this morning. He said it was all about getting Rob out of the beehive. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, we got down there, found the house, and um, uh, uh, Bob was busy putting his uh, fishing tackle on the top of his uh, Jaguar. And uh, he saw me with my stills camera and uh, dived into the car and uh, basically drove at me <laughs> as I stood in the front of the driveway. So I quickly got out of the way, but I still got collected by his wing mirror as he went by. Yeah. So, uh, oh, oh, this sounds That's very Merriman Davidson. Murray. <laughs> um, so, so I got a few fr- He <laughs> clipped you with the wing mirror shots. of the Jag. Okay. And did, did, right. did, did it do any lasting injury? No, really. That got me in on the side, and I thought, oh, that that yeah. that was not really on. So he took off at a million mile an hour. He gets about 100 metres down the road, does a dirty great big handbrake turn, and spins around and starts driving back towards us. At, Dunning at, for at, you. At high speed. Yeah. Well, I actually thought he was going to come up and say, um, sorry about that, are you all right? But instead he got out the car and starts uh, swinging. So um, I'm sort of darting backwards trying to get a few frames i think i think i literally shot about five frames on my nikon i was camera. gonna say did you get the money shot murray <laughs> i i did i did actually um so he got one of his uh punches got me fair square on the nose and it really hurt like really hurt and i thought okay well that's not sorry on. i shouldn't laugh so, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> this I, was yeah. ridiculous and that, it, it look, must have looked ridiculous if anyone had seen it because he had his black waders on and everything and he's just yeah. running after me and I'm running backwards trying to take pictures. So he collected me with one punch uh, and I thought that's... And what about also. Colin? Actually, what about Colin? Did he hit Colin? Uh, well, he went after him because he hit me and I'm stood in the middle of the road dazed and wondering why am I standing in the middle of the road? So he'd actually kind of... You know, he, he, he knocked a bit of stuffing out of me. And um, then, of course, I sort of i am still on my feet and I kind of come to and I can hear Colin James <laughs> in the background going, uh, settle down, Mr. Jones, settle down, settle down, Mr. <laughs> Jones. So he's over on the grass verge. I managed to get a couple of shots of, of that as well. And then Jones then... Uh, got in the car and took off at a million mile an hour. All right, so So was this before or after the Rod Vaughan incident or the same day? Uh, This was before. This was before. So he said nothing to us other than, you know, basically assault the pair of us. Yeah. Then uh, that's as much as we knew. We didn't know that um, he'd then actually gone out to the, um, the river to do his trout fishing and that TVNZ 
really didn't know where he was, so they had the helicopter. And they were flying up and down at the, the helicopter. Um, Looking for him. Uh, trying, trying to find where he was. And um, I think if you can find the original field vision from TVNZ, you can actually hear Rod saying to the helicopter pilot, I think that's him down there. And they literally went and landed. Yeah, so, you and know, then there was the, the great Yeti. So there were, in fact, two assaults on media that day. And oh, as yeah. a fly yeah, fisherman, yeah, yeah. So, both totally deserved. Probably Rod's was um, worth <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing you well, up, Murray. Now, Murray, I don't think anyone does, did no you, one it deserves to be assaulted, but it was rather Did you take him to court? We did. We did, actually. We were um, we were told to go back to Turingi and lay, a, lay a, a, a assault charges at the local police station, which we did. They lumped all of these assaults together, and we went, I do believe it was the Turingi District Court, court. Right, it may have been on oh, Maybe but, it was Taupo. I can't well, remember where Taupo, we went now. Hey, hey, look, this was 1985. Yeah, it would have been Taupo. <laughs> Taupo District Court, Taupo. yeah. Okay. So we went down there, and, um, yeah, he he was charged and uh, basically found guilty of assault. Uh, but he then appealed them, and then he was it um, it, it was then dismissed. And he had to pay a $1,000 so, uh, fine. Now, we've had people say today that he said, uh, I'll pay another $1,000 if I could hit them again. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like Bob. No, mm. I did hear that. Now, Murray, um, did you or is, did you not look, have a T-shirt made that said Bob Jones <laughs> T-Raggy Boxing Tournament? Uh, look, uh, now, this was nothing to do with me. And the funniest thing is that I'm on the stand in the court and Bob Jones's defence produced this photograph of one of these T-shirts. Now there was only ever about half a dozen that were made. How do you know and that? It was, they were put because I know the person that made them. And sadly, I have to say, he actually passed away in London here just a couple of months ago. A ah. chap called Paul Clark, Paul. and uh, another chap, another chap called Paul Hewlett. Yeah. Uh, these two, I believe, had the T-shirts made, and it basically said. Jones Busters on it. Oh. Uh, if you recall, uh, at the time, there was a movie called Ghostbusters. So some very clever artist had basically done a cartoon of Bob Jones and a pair of boxing gloves. I didn't even know uh, that he was actually a boxer. Jones Busters. All right. Uh, did you, did you keep one of those T-shirts? Did you ever get one? Uh, I did have one, but it got stolen by an ex-girlfriend. Yeah. You know where to get the ex-girlfriend? I would love to see that T-shirt. That would be political uh, memorabilia <laughs> worth... I mean, you could take that yeah, to porn but, stars and sell it for thousands. Well, look, if if Christine Penrose, who lives in Masterton, still has it, she's the one to contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I knew look, getting would... Bob Jones on the programme would launch <laughs> just all sorts of weird stuff, Murray. It is so good to hear from you. <laughs> I was a oh, very I'm young pleasure. reporter. I was a very young reporter then. I was twenty years old, right? Uh, and well, I just you're, started. You're a bit younger than me. And I, it was, I was uh, twenty. I would have been twenty-four at the time. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm sixty-two in two months' time. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's not too many of us old buggers still in the industry. But it's such a great story. And, and you tell you tell young people this, about this today, they will not believe you. Will they? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. No, they don't even barely even know who Neil Armstrong is. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> land on the moon. Oh, that's what Winston Peters supposed to Oh, well, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait. Murray, and see thank you so much. Yeah. That was just uh, uh, my, my a great My pleasure. Lovely yard. to talk to you and all the best with the show and all the best with the elections. Yeah. I better go and vote, hadn't I? Yes, you had. You had, and your, your vote will turn up 10 days' time. Um, uh, Murray, <laughs> what are you doing now? Are you still taking pictures? I'm a, I'm a television news cameraman with a company called CGTN Europe, which is basically China Global Television Network. It's a Chinese, English-speaking global network like, uh, say, CNN or Al Jazeera, and we're based in London. Yeah. Hey, I'm probably going to see Bob on Monday night at a party at his place. Got a message for him? Oh, no. Oh, just say hi. Just say I, I, was, the, I was the photographer he, he tried to run over out in front of his house. <laughs> 
He tried to say our client was climbing look, over. Come on, let's be honest, Murray. That. that is what makes life when we can look back and laugh at something like that and say we were part of that moment in history. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, look, I no, I mean there was ill feeling at the time, but you know, as time goes on, I think we become a little more philosophical as we yeah. advance in years. So, no, good on them. Thank you oh, very well, much, we probably mate. Deserve, we, all de we all deserved what we got from him. And I'm sure even Rod had uh, 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 attest to that. Good on you, Murray. Thank <laughs> you so much. Uh, there we go. The stills cameraman who got assaulted. It was just a day of violence by the sounds of it. Um, I'm going to so enjoy telling Bob that Murray rang up. <laughs> And he's, of course, yeah, I've forgotten there was the guy who tried to run over. And I don't think it was Ian Wishart. I think I've got him confused um, with Colin uh, James. You, the, Colin James the Younger, not the old Colin James. Colin James the Younger. That's right. He was the print guy and Bob tried to run him over. But it was Murray. He really tried. Murray he hit with the wing mirror of the jag. Oh, it's true. Ben often says, the stories you tell, Sean, aren't true. I don't believe you. But see, life was just a lot more interesting before the internet. That, that's the truth of it.